Markham, who told police that he has two years of college-level electrical engineering, said he was building a time machine, but didn't have enough power for it. A Missouri worker set out to make a time machine on his back porch. The contraption he came up with was not completely off the mark, according to scientists. There are theoretical physicists working on those areas, and it's not total nonsense, according to the chairman at the physics department at the University of Missouri at Kansas City. The Stanbury police say the voltage that Markham had diverted into the contraption caused power interruptions in and around the northwest Missouri town of about 1300. Markham was arrested January 29th on a felony charge of stealing the transformers from a power generating station in King City. He pleaded guilty and last month was placed on five years probation. Police said the transformers had a capacity of 12 to 76,000 volts each, enough to easily cause electrocution or an explosion. Hey, and I'm Art Bell. It is my honor and privilege to be escorting you through the second half of the weekend. And what a program it is going to be tonight. How do you feel about the possibility, Michael, of somebody coming along and being your mentor even more than this, maybe contributing money to build a great big gigantic version? Oh, that'd be great. That'd be like a dream come true. And I called you Madman because I was convinced you were going to absolutely fry yourself alive and turn into a french fry. There are other people who have been involved in time travel, uh, my...